Okay, so why? Ooh, why is that just a gnat? That's a very good question. We seem to have a pink screen. So let's do a black pen. Why is x to the 0 equal to 1? That's a very good question. So let's think about our rules of indices. If we have x to the power a over x to the power b, that is the same as x to the a minus b. Now we're also going to think about, um, say I have two numbers, say I have 3 divided by 3, that equals 1. So if I have x to the a over x to the a, that's the same number, it's going to equal 1. Now, say, let's look, x to the a over x to the a, if we use this rule here, we can rewrite that as x to the a minus a, which equals x to the 0. x to the 0 must equal 1 because x to the a over x to the a is two same numbers. We've just said that's equal to 1. So x to the 0 must also equal 1, which, um, yeah, it's not intuitive. You would think x to the 0 equals 0 because when you think, what does x to the 0 actually mean? Whoops. x squared is x times x. x to the power 4 is x times x times x times x. x to the power 1 is just 1x. x to the power 0 it means there's no numbers being multiplied. It's a really strange concept and it's very strange for to think that it would equal 1 but when we apply the rules of indices and some basic arithmetic we can show that x to the 0 is in fact 1. Ta-da!